What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel guys. I just want to say thank you guys so much. We just broke 221,000 subscribers and as of tomorrow I will have been doing YouTube for six months. So 221,000 subscribers in six months. Mind blowing guys. So I just want to say thank you guys for so much for that. But for today's video I am actually going to be heading over to my boy Landon's house at his dad's house. He has all kinds of ponds and he has way too many cichlids. So what are we gonna be doing with those cichlids? We are going to be stocking my turtle pond, this one and potentially that turtle pond, but this turtle pond right here, I'm going to 100% be stocking it with hundreds of colorful cichlids. So I will catch all of you over there. So I am at Landon's house now and I just walked in his backyard. He told me to walk in and oh my gosh, this place is literally like a jungle. This is literally like Jurassic Park. I'm gonna flip the camera right now so you can guys can see because wow, this is this is crazy. Wow, guys, this is insane. This is literally like a tropical rainforest in his backyard. But this is what you get when you live in South Florida. You can literally have all kinds of crazy tropical plants. I mean, this is insane. I wish my yard looked like this because I mean, incredible. And what do we got over here? Oh, look at this. We got a whole pond right here. And this is where Landon is. Yo, what is up, bro? What's up, man? Dude, the backyard is sick with all the crazy ponds and this pool right here. Thanks, dude. No problem, man. Uh, awesome. So much work, man. We got this guy's is going to be the sickest pond that you guys have ever seen. I am sure none of you guys have seen a pond this big in someone's backyard. Just incredible. So, so cool. Oh, look, a baby basilisk. Oh, really? Right here. Yeah, there's a little basilisk lizard right there. Can you see him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get him, get him, get him. Oh. Oh, heard him. oh my him. gosh. We have these everywhere in the backyard. Dude, so cool. Look at this little basilisk. Little invasive species lizard. Here, Super him. cool. So guys, since this is an invasive species, we're actually going to rehome them. We actually cannot, you know, re release them because it's actually illegal to do so with invasive species. But this guy must have just hatched out. Yeah, yeah, look. You can see that's where his yolk sack was right there Dude, he's tiny. on the bottom of his belly. The land is going to hop out right now. He's going to show me some of his ponds because I am just so excited to see. It's going to be pretty sick. Let's see what you got, man. All right, guys, so over here. Let's is see it. Basically, the same uh, big ponds that we have over there, but we had rocks built around them, so it looks a lot more natural. Nice. Has a waterfall running. Very uh, cool. In here, we have hundreds of, of cichlids, right? Cichlids. Guys, a lot of them are really tiny babies that they've been almost breeding uncontrollably. Really? But wow, dude. And these are the cichlids that I'm going to get to take, right? Yeah. Okay, guys, so inside of here is the cichlids that I'm going to actually get to take for my turtles. Oh, look at that one right there. Beautiful. Look at that little, was that electric yellow? I yeah. really don't know anything about cichlids. I'll be honest. I don't know. They call this one a yellow lab. That's a a yellow one. lab cichlid. Do you have any blue ones in there? Those are my favorite ones. We have electric blues. We have electric orange, blues. We have peacock cichlids. We also Heck have yeah, tails, flatties. We just so sick. Basically, um, I don't know why there's so many more yellow labs. I guess they're just breeding better. Look at. Let me try to get. That's an even smaller one. So that's a baby, and that's oh a full grown one right there. Wow! Look at the size difference between. The adult and the baby. I mean, let's just take a look at this adult. I mean, absolutely beautiful. It's got those blues on that dorsal fin and even on a little pectoral. I mean, wow, what an incredible fish. Dude, so cool, man. Super, super cool. Let's get your cooler set up. Yeah, yeah, let's some do well it. Water. So we got this cooler right here. I brought this over. We're actually going to be putting water inside of this cooler and we're going to be filling the cooler up with these little cichlids. All right, Boom. That's good. we got this nice and full, full of clean well water that is free of any contaminants, any nasty chlorine, all that stuff. You could literally drink this water if you wanted to. But this is how we are actually going to be transporting the cichlids that are in there to my house. Now, guys, we do not have a bubbler, and that's because I only live five minutes away. There's no need to use a bubbler when I'm only traveling five minutes. There's going to be plenty of oxygen. But Lana was telling me there's literally thousands of cichlids between all the ponds. But you really, it's just hard to see them with all this muck in here. But man, this is going Let's to be them. insane. Oh, we're going to feed them. We got a magic bucket of food right here. What do we got in here? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, pellets. Nice. So we have to keep the food in this bucket because raccoons and stuff can uh -huh. get in here. After um, the hurricane, we had 
a lot of the screen breaks, so it needs yeah. to get repaired. Holy crap, dude. There's a ton of them. Guys, comment down below if you've seen a liquid pond, whatever kind of pond that is as cool as this, because this is the coolest that I've seen. Put the rest of the pellets in there. Like you got the electric blue starting to Yeah, yeah, out. yeah, yeah. I have a lot of the electric blues spread out in the other ponds over there, which on my channel, you'll be seeing how all of this is getting redesigned and uh, how I'm setting them up. I just wanted yeah. to give you a little sneak peek on his yep, channel. Yep. Um, but Very I nice. really have too many cichlids to deal with. They, these yellow labs especially have taken over. Yep. Um, I need a little bit more room for other things, which you'll see on my channel. Guys, but go subscribe to Landon. Link down below so you can check out all these insane ponds that he's going to be doing here. I mean, this one is going to be my favorite. This is going to be insane. And you guys don't even know what I'm going to put in there. Guys, don't even know what I'm he has played. swimming in there with yep. what I'm putting in there. It's going to be insane. Insane, guys. Snook in there. All kinds of crazy stuff, guys. Hey, don't be giving stuff away. Oh, oh, don't okay. be giving stuff okay. away. Okay. Oh. So, guys, we are getting ready to, you know, get these cichlids inside of the cooler. And there's so many of them. It's just crazy. So, these guys are at the surface. These guys are going to be pretty easy. You know, you just want to kind of have the net in here. And we could probably get a bunch of them to actually just kind of swim inside of the net. Let's see. Come on, guys. Of course, they go right around the net. Come on, buddy. Come on. My fish catching skills are not up to par. You know, if it was an iguana, I would have already caught it. but Or a tortoise, but not, uh, not, not, not fish. Not yet. Guys, I got some. I got a few. I finally got a couple. Come on, guys. Oh, look at you. We got three in there right now. Little beauties. All right, guys. We got some water plants, hydrilla in there with them. All right, I gave Landon the net. He's taking over. I'm not, I am not a good fish catcher. You call me about a giant snake in there, maybe I'll be able to get it. But fish, nah, no way. We got a sword tail. Oh, is that yeah, a blue one a down there? One. Where is he? See? I think. Not that one. You got your hand That one. Right. right there. There we go. Yes. Our first blue cichlid. Blue one. Laddie, I got something too. We got a yellow lab. Oh, Hi. Hi, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. Got a little blue one too. And we got a small peacock. We got some nice looking ones. Female peacock. Beauty. Small electric blue. This is a this is a real electric blue. We'll show you a big wow. one in a second. Beauty. They just get fiery colored. Put right. them all in. Guys, we have a little mini DIY cooler aquarium here. Looking good. We got all kinds of goodies in here. All kinds see, of fishies. You can see the fish. Yeah. Wow. That looks sick. I want all of you guys to go and comment down below how many fish you think are in this cooler. I think it's about a hundred. But I want all of you guys to go right now and comment down below how many fish are in the cooler. Guys, we just found and this caught. Is, this a is a peacock cichlid. Beautiful peacock cichlid. So you guys saw the babies. Nice. And they have those bright gold fins insane with looking that iridescent blue gill and purplish colored body nice really really pretty bye bud all right guys so i am headed out of landon's right now he's helping me bring the cooler to the front we got our fish right there but guys i want all of you to go and check out my boy landon's channel you know i've been encouraging him to start his own channel because of all the crazy stuff that he's doing and i'm sure all of you guys would love to see it so landon thank you so much and it's in front of the plant oh there we go <laughs> landon Thank you so much, and guys, I want all of you guys to go subscribe to Landon. It's going to be linked down below. Ready? One, two. Oh, we're on the lip. Boom. Perfect. Landon, thank you, brother, so much. Guys, go check out Landon's channel, and I will catch all of you guys back at the house. All right, you guys, we are back here at the house. I got my dad here helping me, and we have our cooler full of fish, but the one thing we don't have is a net to get these fish in there, so we're gonna kinda have to, uh, how do you recommend we do this? I don't know, by hand, I guess. By hand, I think I'm gonna drain the water almost out, cause you can see the fish are in here. They're doing just fine. What's up, kiddos? Like, you can actually just almost pick them up. So I'm gonna drain most of that water out and you know, kinda just do it by hand. We're gonna drain it right now. I'm gonna hold my hand right here so you know we don't really have any fish escape. You know, they're not really going near it. So the fish are actually pretty smart. You know, they can feel that they're being pulled. So they've actually all kind of come to this one little corner right here. And they're not getting anywhere near this drain. But, you know, oh, wait, now they're coming. But, you know, I just want to keep my hand there just so they don't go out the drain. All right, so I've got it, you know, pretty much entirely drained out. And, you know, we can just kind of get them by hand at this point. Oh, what's up, guys? So this is a handful. We got some golden-looking cichlids. 
Guys, these fish are mainly for enrichment for the turtles. So once these fish are in there, especially tonight, the turtles are going to be looking for a late night snack. So I want to give the turtles, you know, a more diverse diet. So this is going to be a great way to do that. The turtles, there's about nine in here that are about this big, roughly all different sizes. And they're going to be chasing those fish around. So at the end of the day, you know, we might have a couple left, five to ten, but most of them are going to get eaten by the fish. All right, so we got these guys right here. Let's get another nice handful. Look how beautiful these little fishies are. Beautiful cichlids. Oh, my gosh. Come here, guy. Oh, there you go. In they go. All right, we got a couple more. Honestly, guys, let's just pour it in. This is well water, so let's just pour them in. Let's go. Let's go. All right, a couple more, a couple more in there. Go, 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 go. And they're in, guys. So we have all of our new colorful fish inside of our turtle pond. So if you guys have not already, I want all of you guys to go give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought. And if you guys are not subscribed already, please go subscribe. And guys, I actually have to pick a name for the new Lewis Eye Hybrid that's right there. You guys remember that video. But I'm going to save that for next video because I'm still sorting through all the names. And I still haven't found the perfect name yet. So in the next video, I will be sure to announce the other winners. So if you guys have not commented a name for the new Lewis Eye, go check out that video. I'm going to link it down below because I need a name for her. And that is all I got for you guys today. I'll catch you in the next one.